Okay, let's do what the YouTube title says and we can yak later. Uh, let's go and add some camera shake. And last time I did it with Cinema Machine and now we can do it all in Playmaker. Okay, so uh, make sure your first person controller has a camera and something above it. This has a joint. You can actually add something empty directly above it by create empty parent. It'll stick something in here. This is what we actually want to shake, not the camera itself. So I have a little tester here, looks for a key, down T is gonna jump over to this, which has nothing in it, all right? So let's go to, go to Playmaker, add-on, ecosystem, and ecosystem browser, and just type in shake, define that action, and there it is. I already have it downloaded, but go ahead and uh, click download or import if you have not already. So if we go over here, we should have our shake thing, big reveal. And this is the the uh, the Playmaker action somebody graciously uploaded and developed. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure it loops. And we don't want it to rotate. We don't want to make people throw up. We just want it to jitter. So we'll make that a zero. Looks great and we don't know what to shake. We're not gonna shake our FSM, that's no fun. Let's go and select the object and the aforementioned joint. Let's go and shake that and see how that looks. And it really, it's that simple. Hit T and there's our camera shake. And with, it's cool, because without the rotation, pretty much anything in the center of your focus kind of stays not super jittery, it's just the things right next to you are kind of out of control, things in the distance are not. So it's got a really cool vibe, which is what I, what I needed because I'm doing my little medical thing. So I use this all the time. I just always wanted to document this little action. And that's pretty much all you have to do there. You could do all kinds of cool stuff. Like you can add a weight, weight right here. And then you can add a transition, you can jump down and then iterate this number with a variable. So the shaking grows over time. That's kind of fun, but you can pretty much do whatever you want. So, all right.